You have an ornament. There's the package. <laughs> Hi friend, welcome back to Summer Hill, or if you're new here, welcome for the first time. I'm so glad you came to join us. Today we are talking about Christmas trends. I'm going to take you to do some shopping to show you based on my research from social media, from Pinterest, from shopping in stores, what I'm seeing over and over from color schemes, I'm, I'm sorry, from the most popular color I'm seeing and reading about to um, themes and decorations. And then we are going to dive into how to make clay mushrooms because mushrooms are a very popular item this year. And then last, I received a package from Germany and I thought we might like to do the unboxing together. So stay tuned till the end and let's see what's in this big box. To begin, I'm seeing sage green pop up over and over, and here I am at Target dollar spot. But you might be asking, what what is sage green, right? Like, I may think one color of sage green, and you may think of another. So to make this clearer, I pulled together this kind of paint chip chart so you can have an idea of what I mean when I say sage green. So if you see a lot of sage green, now you know it's a popular color this year, like this cute pillow. And I also saw quite a few pieces in the hearth and hand line, like these dishes and other pieces that I'm gonna show you here in the video. Next to Studio McGee, and again, she was pulling that sage green color. Now let's head to Pottery Barn, who also used sage green, along with other colors of green. But immediately when I walked in, I saw sage green on the bedding in the entry. Now let's talk about trends or decorations that are trending. Gingerbread anything is popular. These gingerbread houses at Pottery Barn are really popular. They're already sold out and the guy in the store said people were asking for them before they arrived in the store. Next, I wanted to share with you that paper stars are really popular this year. I'm seeing a lot of paper decorations all over social media and there was a really cute idea of this in World Market. Wood crafts are also popular this year and these mini garlands um, that have these tiny little bells on them. I saw lots of those and then these bigger bells are still popular. Now probably one of the most popular decorations this year is mushrooms. Uh, these are all over everywhere from ornaments to uh, decorations you can put on tables. I just released a blog post on how to make clay mushrooms and I'll put a link in the description to that DIY. It's super easy to follow. But these mushrooms are adorable. Sit back and look at all the different ideas here in World Market. Okay, so those are some of the fun things I saw this year for Christmas. Um, but I also wanted to share with you the theme or the trend I'm seeing this Christmas, and it revolves around a classic novel called Little Women. And um, I am overjoyed at this because that was my very first favorite classic novel as a young girl, and it's had a dear place in my heart. So I'm really excited that this is a popular trend this year. Uh, but in addition to this Little Women trend, I'm also seeing kind of a fairy core, a whimsical. I'm seeing some people bring in kind of the Hobbit um, style, and, and then you can see how the mushrooms are making making the connection now. So 
So um, you never know how your decoration is gonna work out because a lot of times you're working with what you have. So I'm going to be decorating kind of in that avenue this year. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out, but stay tuned, um, hit that subscribe button so you'll get a reminder when I release another video because soon I will re be releasing our Christmas video. But for now, I thought you might like to see a quick how to make clay mushroom ornaments. To start out this project, you're gonna need some air dry clay and you're gonna take a small bundle of it and roll it up, warm it up in your hands like I'm doing here, rolling it into a ball. Next, I like to take my thumb and press down in the middle just to push it out. And then I start sculpting, working from the inside out, kind of pressing into the middle and pulling up to make the cap or the top of the mushroom. So next we're gonna work on the stem. And again, just like the cap, we're gonna heat up the air dry clay in your hand. And once you've kind of heated it up, you're gonna start rolling it into a ball. Okay, now that you have the ball, you're gonna sit it back on your table and roll it back and forth underneath the palm of your hand. And as you do it, you'll notice that it starts creating like a dowel, like a cylinder. Now, after you've done that a few times, kind of lean your two fingers here onto one side because you're gonna start making one side skinnier and then the other side longer. So I use, I put more pressure on my front two fingers and roll back and forth to kind of make it skinny on one end and thicker on the other. And then once I get it the length I want, I'll take the bottom and I press it down on the table to kind of flatten it out. Now we've got the cap and we've got the stem. So next, if you're wanting to make this into an ornament like I'm going to do on this one, you'll need to attach the two. And I decided to do that where the stem dangles like a bell. So what I'm using here is a yarn needle to make the hole and then later I will thread the thread through that. And you're gonna take the cap and you're gonna go from the top down and make a hole all the way through it. Next, you're gonna put a hole through the end of the stem like I'm doing here. And again, you're going to um, make that hole a little bit bigger too for thread to go through it. Now that you have all the pieces finished, we're going to let it dry overnight before we start painting it or putting the string through the holes. Okay, so for the next part, I wanted to show you, you'll need a yarn needle. Um, you want a smaller yarn needle, not a big one like this. You want a smaller one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take and you're going to start with the cap and you're gonna go from the top of the cap in and pull the needle through. Then you're gonna take the stem and you're gonna go through the stem. Um, and it'll be, it might be snug, so you just wiggle it until you get it through. Just be real careful that you don't, you don't wanna break your clay. So once you get that through there, so this is what you've got so far. Then you're gonna take and go back through the cap, the underside of the cap, like so, and then take both of them and pull it together. And then you have, you'll have an ornament like this. Isn't that cute? So what I do at this point is um, I determine how long I want this piece here, and then I tie it in a knot first. I don't cut anything. And then I take and I trim the ends here and I'm gonna leave a little bit, gonna leave a little bit on it. Uh, and then I just take my fingers like this and I fray it and then you have an ornament. So let's go hang it on the tree. As you can see, I already have a few on the tree. I made a couple of neutral ones that are unpainted and then I did this painted one. So in addition to the ones on the tree, I made a couple of uh, decorations for my bookshelves. 
So I'm so excited. A package arrived in the mail and it's all the way from Germany. For those of you that have been here for a while, um, weeks and weeks ago, Hannah and I had a garage sale. And while at the garage sale, my friend that lives in Germany found a vintage, not vintage, antique dough ball. And so it finally arrived. I'm so excited and I thought we would open it together. There's the package. <laughs> So, I'm going to back up so you can see the whole thing, but it's, I have to say, it's probably the best wrapping uh, I've ever seen. Like, it is covered in tape. This was not going to come open. So pretty. Okay, so the the guy who she bought it from at the bazaar in Germany said that it came from um, a region of Germany. I'm trying to remember the name of it. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in my other YouTube video where, which was the day of the garage sale, because that's when I found out about it. The cat is in this box. <laughs> He's playing. Um, but uh, she found it at a bazaar, sent me a message. I responded, was like, yes, yes, get it. And, um, and that was all happening during the garage sale. So I'll put a link in the description to that video. But, uh, but she said that he even told her what region of Germany he found it and that he restored it. So I'm not sure what condition it looked like then. Maybe it looked really bad, but he basically cleaned it really good and he put this um, like oil on it. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed and gotten some inspiration from the Christmas trends. Um, or are you ready to make one of those cute mushroom ornaments? They're so adorable and easy to make. It's a great beginner clay project and the kids can help too. And, um, oh, and what'd you think of the dough ball? Please share with me in the comments what you thought of that dough ball. I love wooden bowls. I have many in my house. I'll put a link in the description to a blog post on decorating with dough balls. And I've always wanted a big one. So my good friend, I wanna thank Kimberly who lives in Germany. Um, and found it at a bazaar and shipped it to me. Big thanks to her for taking all those extra steps to get it over here to America. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you soon on my next video. Bye.